Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Support and Resistance Series, Lesson 2 how to plot them precisely on your chart. In this lesson we will see the basis to plot support and resistance, how to plot them with a line chart, advantages and disadvantages, how to plot them with candlestick chart, advantage, disadvantage, and the three way to place them using this chart type. Finally, Regularity for more power on the level. Basis example. They are plotted at turning points in the market such as highs and lows. Here is our price to show you an example. Price go up, down, up, down. And it formed two bounds on the downside direction. So we have one support here. Then we have two bounds at the same level on the upside direction. So this is our first resistance. And then the price breaks the level, go way above, it's like an uptrend, and now it will bounce from the previous high. So this high was a resistance but it rejects only one time and now it reacts as a new support right here. So this level as my yellow line is a support here and a resistance here. Now we will see using a line chart how you will plot it. Advantages. It gives us a good picture of the significant turning point in the market. It's easy to look at and there is no noise. Disadvantages. Since the line chart is based only on the closing price for a certain period of time, it negates the spikes. We miss this precious information of what was the highest or lowest point reach for a specific amount of time if we only use this specific line chart. Here is our example for EURUSD on a daily chart. As we can see, we have one bounce, two bounce, three bounce, four, five, six bounce at my yellow line. So this line is our support. And this support level, easy to find, is at 115.490. The several bounces are clear and easy to spot on the line chart, and it can be a good beginning to plot support and resistance for you, if you just start to learn trading. Now using a candlestick chart now. The advantages. It gives us a detailed picture of the turning points by showing us the body and the end of the week of the bounce, the highest or lowest point reached by the price during a specific amount of time. Disadvantages, it's a little bit less easy to spot than the line chart, and it also gives us three possibilities to plot our level of support and resistance, and it can be confusing to know which one to choose when you start trading. So that's why I will explain to you in detail how to choose which level you will have to plot. I don't mention here the bar chart, it works like the candlestick chart, it gives us the same amount of information. So example on the chart, just to compare with the line chart, here is our Euro USD daily chart, the same than the line chart, and we can see clearly the bounces, and our line using the weeks, so the extreme points that the price has been reached for a specific amount of time, it gives us a level at 115.289. So this level for me is more precise using the candlestick chart, and the weeks as additional information provide us more precision, and this precision equals 20 pips in this specific chart. So these 20 pips can be a nice advantage to lower your stop loss size, and we will see that a little bit further. So using the candlestick chart, how to plot precisely the line and why. First, extreme of one week, this level will be significant only if it's the end of a nameable candlestick like a pin bar. 
If it's random weeks, it's not likely that there will be a lot of order flow positioned there. Before we go through the entire lesson, let me explain or review what is a pin bar. A pin bar is a candlestick that shows us a strong rejection from the upside or from the downside. A pin bar from the upside looks like that. We have a small body and a big wick or shadow, 150% the size of the body, minimum for example. Then how price move inside? So the price start low, goes a bit, little bit lower, go all the way up and return, retrace all the way down to finish here. This shows us a very strong rejection of the level of resistance. Other type of rejection from the upside, the candle, pin bar, can look like that too, with a different shape of the body. The pin bar from the downside looks like that. Same small body and a very big wig or shadow rejecting the downside direction this time, showing us a strong level of support. How price move? Start low, above the middle, go all the way down and reject all the way up before finishing around the high. Other type of this pin bar can look like this one with the body changing a little of shape. Little body and bigger body. Note that the color of the body doesn't really matter here. What matter is the side of the wick, showing us a very strong rejection. So example. On this specific picture, my red line is the extreme of this specific week. It's not a good support because the candle is not a nameable pin bar. The second one has the body a little bit little and this can be called a pin bar. So it will be a better support line at the end of this specific week. Second one, very nice one. This level and this level are very nice level of a very nice pin bar. So those two levels are very good level of resistance because we have two clear pin bars. The most recent one is more significant. So if you have to choose between the oldest and the most recent, you will choose the most recent spike. Now let's see our last example. So this level is not a good choice for resistance because you have a candlestick that is not a pin bar or other strong rejection one. Using candlestick chart, our second way. End of the body. This is confluent or similar with the line chart that shows only the end of a specific amount of time. The body defines also the end of a specific amount of time of a candlestick. That's why those lines are stronger if the bounce as a strong body candle rejecting it. And that's an additional tip you have to look for. This is a clear example. So we have in this specific example the end of two bounce with the end of the body there and we have a strong big candle rejecting it. This is a perfect example of a good end of the body support choice with a very strong bullish candle on the last touch. As I said, the last touch is the most important, the most significant for our future price action. Now let's look at this example. So we have a line, only one bounce with the end of the body, but once again a very strong and this one is a bearish candle. So it's a perfect resistance, should be very strong in the future touch. Now last example, in this one we have two big candles, one going to the level and one angle thing, the previous one, stronger. So this example is also a very good example because we have a strong candle attacking the level and we have a bigger candle, bullish one, rejecting very strongly the level. So it's another perfect example for a strong support to take on the next touch. Another example here. So first we have the end of the body with a strong bearish candle rejecting the level. Then we have this strong rejection with a lot of wicks in the middle. And 
we have two bounds so this confluence of two bounds with the body very close one to the other is very nice for us I chose to respect the higher body because there is a big candle rejecting it and I don't like to violate any body of the candle when I place my level so I don't recommend you to violate anybody also when you place your support and resistance also what you can see on this specific last touch so the most recent touch is not a very strongly rejected level we don't see so much big candle starting exactly from the level so you have to be careful when it will come back because the rejection was not so strong the last time it touched it so the next might be a little bit weak too third way my personal preference average of the extreme weeks this is the one I find the most powerful here we position our line on the average extreme weeks more regular are the extreme better is the level example let's look at the euro usd daily let's look first at the red line end of the week of the pin bar end of the week of the doji and we have end of the week of the other pin bar right here this is our support next example same chart and we will look at the blue line so the blue line we have average of the weeks and nearly the end of the doji end of the body end of the week of the pin bar I positioned it not a little higher because it acted as, as a support in the previous one so to align it I just put it at this specific level now let's look at our third example the yellow line same chart so end of the very nice pin bar here end of this other pin bar right here and average of the week also we have this average of the week with this big body rejecting candle and we have this end of the body right here all those confluences provide correct support and resistances for this specific yellow line other example average on the week end of the body so I don't violate it and average of those specific weeks and this will be a support on this example now another example end of this week of this specific pin bar and a week just very near the big body candle going out from this specific level other example I took the average of the week without violating anybody and once again on this specific one end of the week of this specific doji very strong pin bar right here and at the end we have a very strong body rejecting it so this level as a support is a very strong level example when I say more regular at the extreme better is the level what do I mean I mean this support for example level has a very tight zone between the extreme weak style to plot the level and the average weak style which means a lot of traders will plot their level nearly at the same place consequently it will bring more order flow at the same place and a better rejection probability in a more precise area other example this other example has a wider zone between the end of the body style and the extreme of the weak style since the crowd will plot their level in the three styles we know and since those three levels are not too much close from each to the other the order flow won't be so much concentrated at the same place and we must be careful with this specific support because of the unprecise way it is made last example I didn't draw a blue zone because it is very tight for me this specific level is the best because it's an average of the extreme weeks and they end nearly 
the three at the same point within a very tight range of pips in this situation and as it is very clear on the chart I expect good order flow there and with good precision so the next rejection should be nice a little explanation about my personal preference average of the extreme weeks why this works best in my perception because it takes in account the stop and at the level and this will be our next level lesson because this lesson is already a, a bit long so to make you enjoy short video we will see that next to summarize we can use different chart type to find our support and resistance line chart are good to find the significant turning points visually easier but less precise candlestick chart must complete data chart to fine tune the place of our level because we got access to the highest or the lowest point reached on a specific period of time. With the candle chart we can plot the line in three different ways. The end of the pin bar using one single attempt candlestick, the end of the body, two attempt minimum, average of the bodies without violating them. Third, average of the weeks on several attempts, more regular are the extreme, better the order flow will be at the level. In a clear order of strength from my perspective, first is the confluence of the three at the same line. Like in the last example, for example, we have this big first rejection with big candle, then after that we have the extreme end of this pin bar and after that we have another extreme of the pin bar which make it average of the week. So we have these three topic nearly because the big body could be a little better but you understand the global meaning. The second stronger is the average of the weeks. When the weeks are from good shaped pin bar and the extremes are around the same price level it's more powerful. The third is the extreme single pin bar week and the fourth bodies level. If there is several big body candles rejecting the level, better it is. Additional tips. The last attempts or bounce on the level, the most recent one, has more power than the older ones. So depending on it, you might adjust your level or be prepared for a reversal a bit before or after the plotted level. We are already at the end of this video, thank you for watching, please like and share and join us on Facebook, the link are below the video, comment if you want me to do a video on a specific topic about trading, and if you need a quality broker, I recommend IC Market, and my link is below if you need. I have tested a lot of brokers in the past for Forex, and IC Market is a true ECN broker regulated in Australia and the one that I personally use and the best we have found so far with very very good condition to trade. I publish video every week so subscribe to my channel to be updated. I wish you all the best. Bye!